You're watching Central Illinois on the record. All right, welcome back. Joining the program now to talk medical marijuana, Tim McGraw, he's the CEO at Revolution Enterprises. Thank you for joining the program. Thank you for having me, Paul. All right, so the first thing I want to talk about, and obviously medical marijuana would be the broad topic of our uh, conversation, but uh, when you and I last spoke, we were outside of your facility in Delavan. Mm -hmm. You're just really getting things up and running, did the grand opening. Mm -hmm. Since then, some big things have happened in the state as it relates to the medical marijuana pilot program. Correct. One of those being the governor vetoed a measure that would have extended the pilot program. Mm -hmm. You've invested, your company's invested a lot of money across the state of medical marijuana. Mm -hmm. um, it's a huge venture that you've undertaken. That's got to be kind of like a gut punch. A little bit, but uh, we still have faith in the program. Uh, the program was designed to be expanded over time. Uh, it's important to note the governor didn't say no. He didn't reject the conditions. He didn't reject the science. Um, we hope it's just a delay. Uh, what's really sad for us is to see the patients that I talk to every day that can be helped immensely by cannabis uh, that are going to have to wait and uh, you know within 30 days or so we're going to have medicine available. So uh, politics with uh, getting between patients and their medicine is just ridiculous we think. And you brought up two things I want to talk about. The when patients are going to get their medicine and the conditions that patients are dealing with mm -hmm. and go back to Springfield and the governor um, and health board rejected a variety of ailments that could have been added to the program for now. The biggest one probably that's pulling the most headlines is PTSD. Absolutely. Um, I know hundreds uh, and dozens personally of veterans that uh, effectively in about 45 days will be made criminals because uh, they won't have legal access to cannabis. Uh, right now we have 46 people a day uh, overdose from painkillers and 22 veterans a day uh, commit suicide. Those statistics should make anybody sick. Uh, so obviously the way we're going about the drug war now is not working. Um, it, the results are in. Cannabis is a safe and effective medicine that saves lives. And there's been zero deaths in over 4,000 years of documented use. So um, it's a shame, but we don't see the tsunami of good that cannabis is stopping. So what do you do when you have kind of two setbacks like that from Springfield, whether it's on the conditions or whether it's on the expansion of the pilot program? How do you overcome those barriers and maybe, maybe convince the governor that this is something that's necessary? Because the state assembly came together to fight heroin addiction, mm -hmm. but not medical marijuana. Yeah, um, I think that uh, we're, we're not sure where the governor is at, really. Um, but we think through the legislature we can potentially override these vetoes, uh, start with PTSD. Uh, it's important. It's very, very important to these patients. So we're going to do whatever we can to, uh, to make sure that the people and patients' voices are heard. You mentioned when medical marijuana was going to be available. I believe you said 30 days. Mm -hmm. So what does that mean at your cultivation centers and then as it relates to the patients? It means in about 30 days we'll have a small harvest. Uh, we'll use mainly for research and development, uh, dial in our extraction machines and uh, formulations and whatnot. Uh, but then by December, we'll have a full uh, harvest and more products available. Uh, new and exciting, w uh, innovative ways to administer the medicine uh, and some really cool strains that we're going to focus on certain conditions, uh, hopefully like PTSD and cancer and others. So medicine will be available shortly. Uh, speaking of medicine, and we mentioned kind of prescription drugs a little bit earlier in mm -hmm. our conversation, but there was some big news made this past week about um, a drug price jumping from $13.50 to $750 a pill. Do you think that the cost of prescription medications is going to play, I mean, how much of a factor, I guess, should I say, um, does it play a role in, in when it comes to medical marijuana that, you know, knowing there are other options out there, and if patients can convince their doctors that medical cannabis is the right path down which to travel, how much does that, you know, drug cost uh, dynamic? I don't think as much as some people might think. I think that it comes down to, uh, you know, right now everybody's forced to go to the black market. And it, what we need is a safe alternative. We need a tested, uh, safe, high quality medicine that the, the veterans and other patients know what they're getting. So uh, the program that we have set up in Illinois allows for that. It's one of the best programs as far as structure goes in the country. If we took the lid off it, the economic impact that this program can have in rural Illinois and, and then also the impact it can have for patients is just unlimited. It's, it's amazing. Look at Colorado, for example. They're giving money back. To, uh, they're giving tax revenue back to the people because they brought so much in. 
Um, Illinois can see the same type economic impacts. It'll be interesting to see how that uh, kind of plays itself out in the future. Well, thank you very much for joining the program. I really appreciate it. Tim McGraw is the CEO of Revolution Enterprises.